This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Brinks 50mm Marine Padlock that was sent to me by Brian in Rimmersburg, Pennsylvania. Now, judging from the kinds of locks that Brian tells me he regularly opens, he's a pretty competent picker. However, he tells me that he's had this one for two years and has never been able to open it. In fact, he's never even gotten a false set. So what we're going to do today is see if we can pick into it and also see what we can tell about the pins from what we feel during that process. So you can see we have a Yale style keyway. I'm going to use bottom of the keyway tension with a 40 thousandths thick wiper insert and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Nothing on one. Two is binding, nice big click out of him. Little click on three, click on four, click on five, nothing on six. Back to the beginning, nothing on one. Another click out of two, nothing on three, four, or five. Nothing on one, little click on two, nothing on three, There we go, four, nothing on five or six, nothing on one, click out of two, little click on three, nothing on four, click on five, nothing on six, nothing on one, click on two, nothing on three, four, five or six, little click on one, another click on two, nothing on three, Nothing on four, five, or six. Click on one and we went into a false set. I'm pretty sure I know what's in here now, but let's finish picking this and I'll talk about it. We have our false set, so let's go hunting for some spools. And there we go, number six, just one spool. Okay, I'm relatively certain what's inside of here are tapered driver pins. That's the pattern that you get whenever you have tapered driver pins. You get the same pin picking like it's a standard pin, but you pick it several times and it still doesn't open. There's really only one good way to deal with tapered driver pins, and that is with absolutely gorilla-like tension. In fact, if we look at my finger, you can see there's still a dent in it from the amount of tension I used on that lock. And you just go methodically through the pin stack and keep, keep giving a, uh, the pin a little shove as they bind up. There's no better way to do it. Sometimes you can rake through them. However, with the bidding on this lock, I'd imagine raking would be a little bit difficult. They used to use them a lot in Australia. You'd find them in Lockwood locks. They've since moved on from them and used some shallow spools. But because Lockwood used them so often, I did a video a long time ago about how to open tapered driver pins. It's video number 99. It's pretty old. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It's not my greatest work ever, but the information is still pretty accurate. So, Brian, if you want to try this lock again, shoot me an email and I'll send it back to you. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.